coffee is a part of many people's morning rituals. And if you need a pick-me-up in the afternoon, you might choose to brew a cup then as well. There are lots of brands you can choose from, but many people choose Door County Coffee. They have many different flavors that you can choose from, located in Carlsville, Wisconsin. If you're passing through Door County and you need a cup of coffee, you might wanna stop here and order your cup of coffee. You might wanna pick up a bag of coffee, enjoy lunch at their little cafe, or do some other shopping in the store that they have. I'm Father Edward Looney, and today I'm visiting Door County Coffee, and I invite you now to be a part of the conversation I had with Vicki and Aaron. I'm here with Vicki from Door County Coffee and also Aaron, who is part of their marketing team, and very excited about this whole project they've done with the advent calendars. And I wanted to bring everybody behind the scenes to Door County Coffee and get some answers, maybe some things you've been wondering, or at least I've been wondering about. My very first thought is, when did you develop a passion for coffee, Vicki? I always loved coffee. Um, before it was cool, before it was trendy, it was just one of those things you drank when you were in college so you could stay up late and cram for exams. And it, but it was always crappy and we didn't even know it was bad. And it wasn't really probably until mm, late 80s, early 90s when coffee shops started bubbling around. And I also loved Door County. Yeah. And we came up here one time for my girlfriend's birthday and we said, boy, if there was just a way we could have a business here. And then I read an article about a coffee roaster in Madison and the idea is just, it was like skyrocket. Um, Door County Coffee was born in my brain. And then we did research and the more we researched, the more we realized, wow, there is a huge need and uh, we're gonna fill that need. Walk me through the process from start to finish of what it takes to make coffee that we get in a bag or that we got in our advent calendars. How did that begin? The process starts really with the right beans. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the most important thing um, is the quality of the beans. And we kind of use this example of meat. You don't go to the meat counter to the butcher and say, I want a pound of meat. You're real selective with what grade of meat and we also know as consumers that we're gonna spend more money on mm -hmm. some of the finer cuts. Mm -hmm. Coffee is the same, but people don't know it. So we buy what's called specialty class one Arabica beans. A lot of fancy words, but it means the top 2% of what's grown in the world, which means 98% of the beans that are grown, we would not use. Indeed. They are not up to our standards. Yeah. So. so, and it's not that the, you know, God doesn't make great trees, that create great beans. It all comes in the sorting process. Um, so we buy the best beans. We roast in a, what we consider technologically superior. It's fluidized air. So it heats every square inch. Of it's kind of like a popcorn popper yep. concept. The beans are like popping around. Flying in the air, mm -hmm. flying in hot air. And once they're roasted, 50% of our goods is not flavored. It can be enjoyed, we call it Coffee or coffee, coffee? I you call it that? coffee, coffee. <laughs> uh, I know, it's called all different things. Non-flavored, straight, regular, and yeah. Yeah, but 50% of our, our product is flavored. So of that uh, 50%, then the goods, while they're just after roasting, while they're still nice and warm, uh, they go into our flavor tumblers, kind of a secret process. Mm -hmm. Takes about 25 minutes, but we think it produces an enormously grand flavored coffee, mm -hmm. and then we have to let it sit or the coffee, the flavor would kind of evaporate. And we grind if ground, we package as, as soon as we can, mm -hmm. and we get it out to consumers and businesses as quick as possible so yeah. they can get. Yeah, the turns are pretty quick. We try not to keep anything on the shelf real long so it's as fresh as possible. Mm -hmm. And then if there's any coffees that aren't good sellers, um, that are slow, we, we cut them because we just don't feel comfortable with like how fresh they can be to get yeah. to, from our door to yours. So. And people get Door County Coffee from festival foods, they get it from Amazon, they get it even at Costco yeah. in the state of Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah, we, we're lucky to be so diversified, um, particularly through the pandemic. 
So uh, when restaurants were closed and offices were closed, everyone could focus their efforts on grocery and online. And then, you know, this past year, while online and grocery isn't just trying to keep up with those numbers, those other parts reopening have helped us sustain. So having so many different places, that's the cool thing about coffee. I always equate it to um, green eggs and ham. Like I'll drink it on a boat. I'll drink it with a goat. Like no matter where people so are. marketing. Yeah, it's like no matter where you are, whether you're in your office, whether you're at home, whether you're on vacation at your cottage, when you wake up in the morning, you generally find a way to have coffee. So we're, we're super lucky with that, especially with everything that's happened in the last few years. Our coffee, our product stayed important in people's lives. And coffee, it's a ritual. For those of us that love and adore coffee, it is our one of our best friends. Yeah. So, you know, you might skimp on something else, not on coffee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As of today, how many flavors of coffee are available, do you think? This is a stumper. It's it is a stumper. because it is evolving and we had more and like we've cut some, but I'm going to say 70, 60. I think that's a fair Yeah, number. about 70. Mm -hmm. And out of all of those coffees, which one do you consider your favorite? Personal favorite. Uh, yeah, Personal see. favorite is Cinnamon Hazelnut. It was one of our very first coffees. It remains today. Um, and on a non-flavored would be either black and tan or Sumatra. Mm -hmm. How about you? Um, I, per I like coconut cupcakes or any of them with the coconut. Mostly the aroma. Like the first thing I do um, when I pour the cup is I smell it and so any of the coconut and those are really good um cold too like the cold brew the coconut translates really well so how about the most popular coffee that is always in demand Highlander Ground. Highlander Ground. yeah was that the first flavor you guys made no nope. no that was probably we were in business probably two years and one of our clients actually said had we ever tried it Okay. Irish cream and caramel, we said yeah. no, but we're going to get right to work. Yeah, across um, every, whether it's um, the single serve cups, like the K cups, the bags, whole bean ground, pretty much across every category, that is the number one flavor. How do you come up with flavors? It's fun. It is fun. So we have a flavor innovation person. Mm -hmm. who kind of listens to everybody and kind of looks out in the universe and says, okay, what's trending? Mm -hmm. And of course, we're with um, some trade associations that they can help us forecast. Mm -hmm. But when we um, sample, that's the fun part. Erin, tell them. Yeah, tell them so, yeah, so she comes up with ideas like, you know, a couple of years ago, sea salt caramel was like the thing. It was an ice cream, it was a candy, it was and everything. You know, so of course we tried some coffees and... I think that's one we never ended up We couldn't with. find a good one. So she gets these flavorings, and they're in these little tiny vials, and then they brew small batches, and then the whole staff, like everyone comes down, samples them, votes on them, and we're like so <laughs> critical. Like, cause we, we want to make sure it's a great choice. So it's, it's a really cool involvement of the whole team, but we are probably, it takes a while until we're really happy with one. And we can't. I like Erin, and if Erin says, oh, this is so good, you would just love it. I don't want to hear that. Yeah. So that we try. And, yeah. So we really try and do a paper score, and then the like she said, the flavor innovator she tallies them up, and um, it does take quite a while. And then we'll go back to the flavor manufacturer and say, make it uh, more cinnamon or more coconut mm -hmm. or less caramel, or so they create flavor profiles for us. Mm -hmm. From Carlsville, Wisconsin, to your kitchen, to your coffee maker. Enjoy your next cup of coffee from Door County Coffee.